So here I am. My name is Luis Chiappe, and I am the director of the Dinosaur Institute of the Natural History Museum in LA. And we are in southeastern Utah, not very far from a town called Bluff and a river called the San Juan. And we're here in the middle of um, you know, dinosaur uh, graveyard, if you want. <laughs> so uh, the dinosaur graveyard, um, that's really great. What makes this area so good for finding these dinosaurs? Well, what makes this place great for uh, dinosaur hunting is the fact that you have all this incredible exposures of rocks that were formed about 150 million years ago and in, in that have trapped the remains of uh, the dinosaurs that lived at the time. So how do you find these trapped dinosaurs? Well, you know, in order to find a dinosaur, you, you, you walk over the surface of the naked rock and you're looking for little pieces of bone or or ends of bones that that may stick out from the the hill and that may lead you to uh, bigger bones or more complete uh, skeleton or may lead you to any uh, nothing here we have a quarry that has already produced uh, perhaps about 300 bones we have worked here um, since uh, 2007, when this this place was found. And, uh, okay, so why do you think this work is so important? You found these dinosaurs, but why does that matter? Well, the work that we do is important because we're collecting the evidence that allows us to interpret how these animals lived and how they looked like and. Uh, in, in in how they interacted with uh, one another and with their environment so these specimens are building the collection of the museum the collection of the museum is used by many researchers that are that are using these bones to answer a number of questions about you know these animals and their and their lives okay so now that we know why why we're doing it Let's talk more about what you're doing here. What have you found so far at this site? Well, here um, we come uh, once a year for a, about a month, and we are excavating the site and collecting uh, the remains of a number of different kinds of dinosaurs. We have um, partial skeletons of uh, long-necked dinosaurs, animals that are like Diplodocus or like Camarasaurus. We have partial skeletons of some of the carnivores that ate these dinosaurs. We have uh, skeletons or part, part, partial skeletons of um, the armored dinosaurs, the ankylosaurs, and other kinds of dinosaurs all mixed together. Wow, so you might be able to answer uh, some questions that our uh, audience had. Uh, we asked for crowdsource questions on the internet, and Ben from Dallas is nine years old, and he wanted to know what the name was of the dinosaur at the dig site. Well, I'm, 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 I'm glad that we're doing this and that we're getting questions from people uh, in Dallas. And, uh, but um, the, the animals that we have here, here Yes, we have studied scientifically. We have them for the power lab and then you pair to pair. But we know that some of the long necked dinosaurs that we have are animals that are quite closely related to Diplodocus. So they're Diplodocus like. Uh, others are Camarasaurus like, I would say. But we have to uh, wait for the scientific study of these bones to be sure whether you know they are diplodocus or whether there's something that's new to science uh, we do have a nickname for one one of these dinosaurs and in we uh, one of the skeletons have uh, has been nicknamed natalie with a g in 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 the name it got the name because uh, a few years ago we were uh, early in the dig we we used to work in the spring and the spring here is filled with gnats. And uh, 
in in you know therefore we decided to name this place you know the natalie site with a g uh so what kind of uh roles do people take on at a dig site how does it work you bring a bunch of people and what do they do well everybody everybody does uh everything here from cooking although that's usually my primary role because i like to cook uh, from cooking to um, um, you know washing dishes to using the jackhammer and plastering the blocks that we're going to take back to Los Angeles and so on. But I think it's important to highlight the different backgrounds that people that form the crew uh, have. We have grad students, that means uh, students that are enrolled in a PhD program. We have postdoctoral fellows, that means um, young researchers who have a PhD. We have colleagues, uh, professionals from universities and museums around the world. We have volunteers from our museum. We have uh, technicians, paleontological preparators from our museum. So we have a very uh, diverse uh, a background of, of people, including some of our sponsors come here and, uh, and enjoy uh, um, helping us uh, to collect these bones. So will the public be able to see the fossils that you're digging up here at all? Absolutely. These bones are going straight to the museum and they're going to be uh, prepared. That means they're going to be uh, cleaned and, and, uh, and conserved inside the dino lab on the second floor of the Natural History Museum. So everybody can see that process. Wow. Well, I don't think we have any more time today, but thank you so much for talking to us and for sharing this with all of our friends around the world and at NHM. Uh, we are live from Utah and we hope that you guys will be able to come to the museum and see the fossils that we're talking about today. Thank you. Thank you everybody in LA and elsewhere and, uh, and stay tuned. Thanks, folks.